I think what you said was a big point. The structure. It's like you can you can do so much as a woman, but that like structure, like that 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 discipline, it's just not there without a man. I feel like sometimes. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like that too because I feel like at a certain point and at a certain age, it's for girls. So I feel like it was kind of hard, and we're all kind of like back to back. So I feel like it was kind of hard for my mom to raise us when we were going through like our hard hated, a uh, hard headed uh, stages. Like I don't know. I feel like my dad, she had to like my dad had to come in and like discipline because my mom couldn't. Yeah. You know, cause and you that's know, how it's supposed to be, I think. Well, your mother, um, fully into her like her femaleity, where she was just soft, a gentle woman, like soft spoken, and no, no, she wasn't. no. I've that's, seen. Sorry, but okay. I feel like that's traumatizing for a kid too because, like, my mom would be like soft and like caring and then nurturing. Yeah, like she just yeah. nurturing. And this one, and Madam, I'm sorry, I should have used that word nurturing. Mm-hmm. I've seen now. I have seen women, single mothers, that took more on masculinity energy, and um, this can either go far. Like this can either go off the cliff. Yeah. Because a woman can do serious damage to a daughter and um and her son, especially her sons, especially her son, because we are their first love. We are their first woman in their life. But I've seen masculinity women that did carry that and they installed discipline, but their kids miss the nurturing side yeah. so yeah it's like too much one direction yeah, yeah so it's either i have to be completely on this side or i'm gonna have to be completely on you this have side. to have balance and the balance comes from the two-parent household mm-hmm. so i mean it, eventually the single mom wants to get married again and you know have a kid or if it's out of wedlock you know actually find like the perfect husband i mean i was fortunate enough to have a bomb ass stepdad um at the end of the day who gave me the discipline and now i'm at this you know cosmic you know, am I too masculine because I'm aggressive and I'm blunt as a woman? Or am I just honest because my mom made me an honest woman? Just so you know, every woman is masculine today and it's none of y'all's fault. It's the environment's fault. If you're raised in a, in a society of with feminism and a gynecological society that tells women to become more manly, tells women to become all these stuff, tell men to become feminine as fuck. They all just naturally became it. You didn't. It's not that you wanted to. It's not that oh, your parents yeah, did it. Me. It's not that anybody. It's just the society. You grew up in a gynocentric society. Uh, I mean, or, everyone or, or, has both within them, though. Everyone has both masculine and feminine. It's survival. Within them. It's, it's yeah. definitely survival. But, 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 but the problem is it's whatever you feed. And what happens it's, is yeah, the masculine energy gets fed the most in a woman today. Like you're, you're going to have a lot more instances where you're reinforcing that masculine side of you than your feminine side of you. And that's the problem. It becomes a habit. It's not that, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's none of y'all's fault. Y'all, y'all know how I do this show. I don't blame y'all for this shit. I blame the environment for it. And then who do I blame the environment? I blame the men because the men are the creators of the environment nine times out of 10. We plumb, this, we plumb shit. We build the buildings. We do most of the shit of building the environment. It's mostly our fault. It's the 1%. It's the powers that be that made it to where they wanted y'all to come into the consumer base because we would have double the taxes. We would have way more consumer base like we, or, or way more consumer debt. Y'all are most of the guys or most of the people with the credit card debt. So like they want they wanted to make buckets and they they did a great job making buckets off of y'all. It was a good it was a good decision. Did you have something to say, bro? Yeah. So have have any of you ever heard the term son husband? Mm. Yes. Yep. Yeah. No. I that's know that's I mean. a Tell possessive me. spirit. The man of the house. That is when a woman, uh, a single mother, becomes possessive over her son because her son had to be the man of the house. Mm. The image of him change. I see it a lot in more property areas. Um, I, speaking of more Oak Cliff, um, I have thirteen and fourteen year olds. Um, they would sit there and tell me like, they when they leave, they go. They don't have time for football practice. They gotta go make some shake for the family. I, my mama life's finna get turned off. Like they can't be kids, mm-hmm. and they at war with each other outside. And they got eight hours of school time where they're somewhat at peace, but they're thinking about what can like I gotta I gotta come up with some money. And so now they're just doing these things behind that. But I definitely feel that a woman becomes possessive and a son takes on that responsibility. And it's a mutual. It's not just a. Um, a woman, uh, what I'm sorry, what phrase did you use? A son husband. A son husband. A, a son husband is such thing as a 
a, a, a son, mom, wife, or whatever, because yeah. he's possessive of her. He's keep like yeah, he, you get what I'm saying. His mom like a he wife. Treat, like his mom becomes before his wife, and he can't even differentiate it. Yeah, and that and that's mom something that does happen a lot. There's a lot of yeah, yeah there's a lot like of guys that take their mom more other. serious than their girlfriend. Well, yeah. well, what do you think about that, bro? So, actually? so son, that's that's part of it. But son, husband is basically a woman gets with a man. The man's you know maybe a rough around the edges. He's you know kind of like hyper alpha. Maybe he hits her, abuses her, or he's just a guy that's hard to control, cheats on her, whatever. Right. So the the boy is born, and the mom looks at the boy as a reincarnation of the of the her husband baby daddy whatever the father yeah. so she does everything as throughout the boy's childhood and growing up to turn that boy into a good little boy that always listens and always says yes mommy and you know nothing becomes, like the father because exactly nothing, nothing like, like the father and this is something psychological that women do um and even married women because you know the father may be like not you know like not a very sweet and caring man he may be just like uh whatever you know um, so what happens is that boy grows up and he's like this nice, submissive little boy. And then he meets women. He grows up, he meets women. And then the women, you know, are going to treat him. You're going to run. You're going to run over him because he's his he's mom taught him like shit. And that's why we're here well, talking I mean, about dating, because that's that is one of one of the biggest issues in dating on the man side is because our mothers, a lot of our mothers dated or a lot of our fathers were, you know, a little more overbearing old school, especially like I have a Latino father. I love him. But. You know, he was rough around the edges. He was, you know, 20 years in the military. He grew up in poverty. So uh, my mom did not want me to be like him. So uh, she kind of taught me to be more nice, submissive, religious. But, you know, I had to make my own way and learn because that's the affliction. A lot of men, when you guys deal with men, a lot of them are like soft, submissive, defer to you. It's because their mother taught them to be like that because yep. they, their mother was like, I he's agree. not going to be like uh, like his father. I do not want him to be like yep. his father. And to, to like interject on the stoicism becoming toxic masculinity, I feel like there was like not a lot of like communication between a, a father and a son that stoicism should not be taken as toxic masculinity. Well, yeah, my dad definitely never brought up Marcus Aurelius and told me to like read, you know, read meditations yeah. or anything. So yeah, a lot of our fathers did fail us completely. But I mean, that's just because stoicism and all these things like all this stuff is is about to become a huge deal now. But back in the day, like no, everything was closed and behind doors. Today, shit's not behind doors. Abuse, fucking yelling in relationships, fighting, all this stuff. It's not behind doors no more because we got phones. All this crazy, we can record and stuff. Shit, there was bad stuff back in the day, ring but lights. they didn't. Yeah, we got ring lights. Now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but we didn't use like we didn't have to be stoic and stuff because if bad shit happened, then it was behind closed doors. Nobody's gonna know about it. You know, it might show up in court one day or something. But for the most part, no, like that shit was going. So now we're giving a fuck. Now we're trying to fix it because we we know what to do now. But shit, most people didn't know what to do for 20, 30 years. Yeah, what's up? I think that it that is a con of being raised by our father, like oh. kind of adopting a stoic personality like i've run into the a uh, good bit in the dating like in dating like oh yeah guys that aren't emotional no 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 men they feel like i'm not emotionally invested because i've been raised by my dad oh just like oh. stoics you know yes. and not always showing my emotion you're not emotional yeah so yes. they think i'm not emotional. that's actually a good thing though i like, feel I like a no, guy no, should no, want a girl that's no, not emotional no, would you like no, a girl that's no, emotional no. Girl? that's not true that's not do you no, like no. a girl that's emotional? Want, a guy should want a woman Maybe? that is emotional intelligent yeah because we balance that out of y'all but emotional intelligence your ability to control your emotions exactly. so she's emotionally so intelligent she's emotionally intelligent though she's emotional but men but men are emotional like, I'm not saying that we aren't. I never said that we are. No, I'm just saying that like she that. has very good emotional intelligence because she can control her emotions. That's emotional intelligence, and I think that is attractive. I think a guy likes a woman with emotional intelligence because we don't want to. I, I don't want to come home. I don't want to come home from a hard day at work and then be arguing with my girl. Like nobody wants that. Yeah. It hasn't always been this good, but <laughs> You're like, I'm as, ju- I'm now, as I'm I've good. gotten better, it's gotten worse. So like, guys really think I don't care about yeah. them because I'm not emotionally invested. You or know where your emotional, emotional intelligence is also knowing how to express your feelings yes. of caring as well. I, well, I, I also, you know, I don't know anything about you, but you could also be have none of those emotions because of bad trauma or like going through bad relationships or just multiple relationships. I mean, if we look at the studies for for, for uh, happiness and marriage, it's thirteen percent for women after twenty bodies. 
your your percentage chance of being happy in your marriage, thirteen percent. So like, I'm not saying that you have over twenty bodies or anything like that, but <laughs> but I but I probably wouldn't have a lot of emotions either if I was a woman and I had over twenty bodies because that's just we like we can see that with studies that women really? don't care as much. I'm gonna say so this: you do show emotions. You you show it. It's on your face. <laughs> they yeah, just don't pay emotions, attention huh? to you. A if guy not, that comes along, not crying and like kicking in their door. No, that's crazy. No, they, <laughs> they do be mad because they want that toxic energy. Yeah, like well, they can't take a woman sitting in her skin. Here, I'm about to, I'm about to I'm about I'm about, I'm about to you know wake y'all up to something really quick. <laughs> Y'all fuck with really shitty guys, okay? Oh, and bad. that's yeah, why yeah. that's why y'all think well, yeah, it's not, I'm not saying here. But that's why you think that's normal because that's not normal for a guy to like it's want not, his girl to be emotional and shit crazy. like that. How do you feel about that, bro? So, you said you got you, ladies, you enjoy when a man is able to read your facial expressions and kind of pick up on how you're feeling without you know how much having tell him. Yeah, yes. you know yeah. how much training and like books I have to read in order to understand this stuff. But I feel like if you could read if you're a person who can pick up on energy, like, you'll be able the, to know. The, the, like, the room. like yeah. the average man, no matter what you look like, not he's not going to... for a man. Yeah, exactly. To That's that. your guys' yeah. abilities to do that. Like, yep. yeah, Y'all are like social I, creatures. I, I over all of you. My, my girl, my, my, every girl I've dated well, has known when I've had a bad day when I walk through the door because they know you guys... Have you had that vice versa? Because we can feel that energy. We know. I do have that vice versa, but it took me... It's not nearly as good. I had to date i had to for years date lots of women to get experience with women to know you, you, know? And you that gotta, takes a yeah. lot of experience you, you for gotta, a man you gotta understand from an age of a girl that's 15 years old to 20 think about how many guys approach you think about how many social interactions you have and you're already wired to be more social than us you're already hardwired to be better at social situations okay so not only are you more hardwired to be good at those communal things but you're also having way more opportunity to practice that muscle to practice that and becoming very good at a social being men don't get especially men today that are playing video games or living at their mom's house for too many years awesome. like that they ain't getting near that they're not approaching <laughs> women enough they're not getting near the social experience that the women have the 18 year old girl literally can run laps on most 30 year olds today most 30 year olds today can easily get finessed by 18 year old girl if she's had enough social experience yeah. and Definitely. he would and he would and he would sit there and believe everything she says and Definitely. go for all of it because he doesn't he just hasn't had enough he's maybe only had two relationships or three relationships or fuck 10 girls or something like that he hasn't practiced enough to even know if that girl is like that or not Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.